In many of the emerging and developing countries with a rapidly growing economy, legal and judicial systems are yet to keep up with such drastic growth. This has been an obstacle to securing people's rights and interests, as well as to sustainable economic growth. Under these circumstances, a growing number of developing countries are hoping to learn from the experiences of Japan, which has a history of achieving economic growth while adopting Occidental legal systems and adapting them to accommodate Japanese context. In response to such requests, JICA has undertaken projects for rule of law promotion in various developing countries, beginning in 1996 in Vietnam. JICA's cooperation for rule of law promotion centers on three main areas, together with human resource development. In 2003, JICA started its cooperation in the legal sector in Laos, a socialist country where economic and market liberalization has been progressing. Civil code is a basic set of laws that are essential in every aspect of the daily lives of people. Laos, however, does not have such a systematic civil code as is found in Japan. Therefore, the project is now undertaking efforts to draft a single consolidated civil code by combining and reorganizing the existing laws in related fields as well as supplementing the missing parts. During these efforts, Japanese experts have worked closely with fellow Laotian legal professionals, encouraging discussions and aiming to help them craft a civil code that is truly suitable to Laos. <laughs> At a local seminar on the Civil Code held in August 2017, members of Laos's National Assembly and other related institutions were invited to examine Laos's draft Civil Code and discuss its future direction. ま、Myanmar has a set of laws transplanted from India during the colonial era. However, those laws do not always operate as written, and many of the existing laws are incompatible with today's complex, advanced business environment. This has also hampered investment from overseas. It was under these circumstances that in 2013, JICA launched a project to cooperate in rule of law promotion in Myanmar and began a wide range of activities with the goal of drafting laws and improving legal practices to establish a proper business environment. Since the protection of intellectual property is essential to encouraging investment, JICA has also held multiple seminars on building an intellectual property justice system. Today, Myanmar's Supreme Court is working with JICA to consider how to build a system for resolving conflicts involving intellectual property. We adopt our IP enforcement plan since 2015, and we cooperate with the, our international partner like JICA, how to make the new setup of the codes and rules and procedure and how to give a training to the our judges. ミャンマー政府としてもですね、まあある種短期間で成果を求めているというところもありますので、そこについてえっとうまくアドレスしていくというか、そういったことが必要じゃないかなと思います。the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, which were unanimously adopted in September 2015 by representatives of the 193 United Nations member countries, also promotes the rule of law. JICA's initiatives for cooperation for rule of law promotion have become increasingly significant in a global society. 
国内の法の支配に貢献することが目的ですが一か国一か国の法の支配というものが国際的な法の支配の実現につながっているというふうに考えていますので、まあ、あの私たちはあこのプロジェクトを通じて国際的な法の支配に貢献したい、まあ、言葉の力を信じて、えー、取り組んでいきたいというふうに考えています。